Hey, Jeff Luff here from Alternative Heating and Supplies again on Chapter 3 of Pumps. This chapter I'm going to be talking about a seized pump. Most of the pumps out there, after the garden is starting to get old, uh, two, three, four, five years old, six years, eight years, ten years, they start to build up uh, goop inside the units and rust and scale and everything else and it, it's hard on the pumps. So what I'm going to talk about today is a lot of people are just swapping out pumps because the pumps are seized. A lot of the time, the pumps are just fine. You just got to unseize them. So if you notice that your pump is not circulating, once you activate the power, turn off the power as soon as you can because you can burn up the head of the unit. And you don't want to do that because if it's just a stuck cartridge, you just burned the head on it so it's no good. You don't want to ever circulate a pump when there's no water in the, the cartridge it will immediately blow the cartridge, or quickly. Um, Armstrong and Take will have a very good amount of time that they can run without water before it blows the cartridge or overheats it. Um, and what I'm telling you here is about the same on all the other pumps that I've known um, to, to, to possibly fix or repair these things. Okay, so you, you're getting ready for the season, and you turn on your furnace, and you notice there's no water circulating. Turn off the power to the pump, and what you're going to do um, is basically you're going to there's four bolts around the base side of this thing and i've already pre-prepped this because i'm sure you don't want to see me unscrewing bolts for five minutes here okay and you got to pretend this is mounted to the back of your boiler you can do this mounted right on the back of your boiler you might get some water flow so again turn off the ball valves to stop the water coming out so basically this is mounted and now what you're going to do is i've taken out the bolts you're going to pull the head off okay this stays on the thing yes it's got the water it, water will flow right out of this so put that down now here's the head there's the other bolt and here's your cartridge and this is actually a pump that has been warranted by us uh, they are moving pumps they're gonna fail eventually so in this case this one didn't last very long this one pops in about six months something was out of balance or something wasn't just right when it was made so they seize very quickly now in this case I already did this also before the thing is that a lot of the time these cartridges are stuck because they heat up and they get stuck so you take a screwdriver very gently and you're just gonna work around and you're gonna slide the cartridge out. Now, this is a cartridge. It has nothing to do with the bindings. It's separated from the water. This is in the water. And what happens is the rust and scale build up around the shaft and it clogs this, or clogs it, sticks it. So what I should tell people to do is take this in, put it on warm water and start spinning this. And you'll actually, in this case, this one started freeing up as I was doing this. And this one's actually probably good. So I might uh, use this in my own application, my own stove. So um, basically, run it under uh, nice warm water and try to free this up. Now, as you can see, this is spinning really nicely. Now, when I first started with this, when I first did it, it was barely moving. So the, the motor didn't have enough energy to spin this up. Now, here's a brand new one. We, since these are BF5Js and 4Js, we only sell the bronze cartridge ones, which will last much longer. Now, as you can see, this one moves a little bit easier than this one. And just so you know, this is a cartridge for 11, this is a cartridge for a nine, so I know they're different. Um, so this one's smoother, but it doesn't mean that the motor doesn't have enough power to get that started up, okay? So this one might even start up again. Now, what I do is I drop it back in, and there's a little piece of steel here to separate it. And your O-ring is right in here. Make sure that's nice and clean. Remount. And this, there's a sharp edge of the thing and make sure it's on the inside and you're not cutting the O-ring. And you'll feel it, it just clicks in. You're gonna turn it back. And let me tell you one more thing. A lot of people are like, hey, if I mount it like this, you know, that's a problem because of this, the where the electricity goes in and I don't have the room. So can I turn the motor like this so that this is out of my way now? Sure, no problems. Then you put your bolts back, secure it up. And then um, what I do is I actually just take the electrical lines and I wire tie them to a plug and just turn it on, just plug it in. And if I hear it, you know, spins up, 
I'm ready to go. If it doesn't spin, you need a new pump. But that's really all there is to it. And even on the Armstrong, it's the same concept. They use little Allens here, but it's fundamentally the same concept. Um, and one of the other questions are, is do the pumps come with uh, the gaskets for the flanges? The new pumps do come with the gaskets. But that's basically it. Nine out of 10 times that will fix your pump. You're ready to go for another season and you're ready to go. Hope this helped. This is Jeff from Alternative Heating and Supplies. Let us know if you liked what we had to say. Give us a thumbs up, thumbs down. Please write your comments. I would love to hear more suggestions of more uh, areas of focus that you need to know about. And I'm glad to help you. Thank you and appreciate you.